don't want to go to sleep. Look, you aren't missing anything. It's already way past your bedtime. Please, Grandpa, I'm missing the fourth quarter in the Knicks game. Yeah, well, you can watch your other 81 games start at 7 p.m. So, uh, it's not my fault. We always get stuck with the game that starts at 10.30. Do you just have a story then? Hmm. I don't believe that you're going to go to sleep after I tell you the story. Are you, will you? <laughs> yeah, I'm sure I will. I mean, if it's a scary story, I love scary stories. Also, I really want to hear about your youth. If you go to sleep right after, I'll tell you a story about a time in my life long, long, long time ago. About the Roman occupation. I was, a, I was a very important, important member of the Jewish people at the time. I know about the Roman occupation, Grandpa. We learned about it in school. I'm not really sure if you know what really happened. It's very different hearing it from me than some random teacher. Oh, come on, Grandpa. Just start the story already. Okay, okay, relax. My childhood is very, very different than yours. It goes a little bit like this. A while ago in Jerusalem, during the time of the second Beis HaMikdash, in a marketplace, say, Dude, I am craving those pears we had last week. Same, but it's not looking too good on the food side of things. Romans are not really letting, go, letting food in, and now we're stuck to ration all the food we have left. I mean, look at this. That guy just sold me his last fruit. And look how they were rotten. But I can't find any other food anyway. Yeah, things are not looking too good right now. I heard some family down in the slums even ate one of their children because they were so hungry. Anyways, I'm going to go use the bathroom. Good luck with that. Gosh darn Romans are not letting anyone do anything. People are just de de defecating wherever they can. I mean, hey man, being the Amaferisi, stop ridiculing the Romans. We don't want violence escalating in this town. We have enough violence finding... We have enough violence. Trouble, trouble! We have enough trouble finding food to feed our families without violence. Dude. Dude, I'm a Sakari. Roman stinks. Are you actually backing them? Hey man, wash your mouth. I'll stop. It's more important that we agree that we all have a common enemy. That's the Romans and their soldiers who are solely starving us. If we want our freedom to come and go as we please, we're going to need help each other out. <laughs> it's my Zila philosophy. <laughs> Enough with your garbage, man. In times like these, it's every, it's every man for themselves. And if you are not helping the Jews, you're helping the Romans. And I need food now. <laughs> uh, no, fool. You just stabbed me with <laughs> Hey, man. No. Are you all right? No, come on. <laughs> <laughs> Rabbi Yochanan's apartment. Things have gotten really bad around here lately. We are in quite the conundrum. I can try to stop My the violence. Dream, the dream like the Pharisee. But then the other groups will be angry. I can't be violent because that does not seem like God's path for me at this point. I need to find a certain solution that can be an answer for this quandary in which I now find myself in. The Romans may take our holy temple, despite the ramifications. That may happen, and also God's holy presence. But at this point, I greatly fear what may happen to the Torah, due to the Romans' prohibition on learning. Without the learning to bring us all together, as the Jewish people, I fear the longitude, longitude of our nation. Perhaps along with my nephew. I'm a sick girl. I can devise a plan so brilliant that will, that that all this strife can disappear. Alba Sikra's backyard. Alba Sikra's house. There's something I need to discuss with you, my nephew. On this dreary morning today. I'm selling iPhones and matzahs for cheap. Wait, what? No, no, no. I'm not looking to buy any products off you. Any talks? Water. What is it you want to talk about, Uncle? Are you a murderer of your fellow Jews? How can you accuse me of such a thing? Are you not the leader of a group, a group of Jews known as the Sikari that kills its own kind? It's true that I am their leader, but I've been against their displays of violence for a very long time. However, the Sikari act on their own, dis on their own, despite my commands. It's good to hear that you're not a member 
I'm in such the place of Chilo Hashem. Cool. Let's go. Let's go hit up Holy Schnitz. <laughs> I stick a push it. Ah, let's go. I'm D. Oh wait, yikes! This is kind of awkward. But I just realized that I have an important plan to make in order to preserve the life of the Jewish people and save the Torah. Wow, sounds kind of tough. Well, good luck with that. Wait, I need your help with the plan. Yeah, but there are some after juniors in town, and there's a Pasha this weekend. So. Look the fate of the Jewish nation rests on your shoulders. Okay, okay. When you say it like that, I'll help. Do you know a way to escape? Is it even possible to get out of here with the Robino watching us? What? <laughs> oh, right. How do I get out of this city? Do you know a way to, to get past the guards? I don't know. Let me think about it. Can we dig under the ground? No. Can we fly over? No. Can we use our invis invisibility cloak? Invisibility cloak? That might work. I heard some guy named Harry so. He has some good stuff. Is it good stuff? It's the best. It's the best stuff. I don't know, but, but I heard it's pretty expensive. Alright, let's go check it out. It, I'll set up a meeting with... You'll set up a meeting with Harry? Yeah, I'll set up a meeting with Harry. So where are we going to meet up with this Harry guy you keep talking about? Hey, you! Is that Harry guy keep, people keep on talking about? Oh, that's me. So on. I mean, you guys look like good guys and everything. I can tell you're Jewish. Like, you guys seem like good guys, but well, it's gotta get a good deal out of it. I don't know, man. I don't know. It's kind of, it's kind of steep for me, you know. It's, it's a recession. How much it gonna be? Uh, I don't know. Out of my head, uh, like a million dollars. A million gold dollars? Yeah, it's just, whatever. A million dollars. Joking me? Listen, the economy nowadays is kind of rough. Like it's a million dollars. That's that's the usual. I mean, it's usually like two million. So, like I'm giving you a good deal. Man. No, no, no. We need we need lower than that. We can't go. We can't go one million. You know what? Screw this. Are you joking? Thanks for wasting our damn time. Do 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 do. Yo 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 yo. Stop 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 stop. I'll give you a good deal. All right. Same amount of folks, Right. Nine hundred and ninety-nine thousand dollars. All right, it's booked. No, 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 wait, whoa, whoa, whoa! All right, fine, fine, whatever. <laughs> yeah, that talk. was like a five-minute scene. By Yochanan's like a five. Wow, what a waste of time. All right, we have to get, we have to get to think outside the inside the Jewish box. How can we get out of the city for free? There may be one way, but only, but only a few can know. Only tell your trusted disciples. Rabbi Elazar and Rabbi Yoshua. I like where you're going with this. Tell me the plan, and I'll tell you if it will work. All right, it goes like this. A few days later. Oh, so, um, Abbasikra. Did you see the ping pong tournament last night? After all, it is our national sport. Just ask my two Tom Leadham here sitting with us. No, I didn't catch it, but all that's on my mind right now is this bison. Yeah. The spice is really making me thirsty. Oh. Rebbe, Rebbe! <laughs> Rebbe, are you okay? Is there a doctor in the room? Are you uh, kidding? It's Jalo Suudo. <laughs> oh, yeah. Rebbe! Of course we have doctors. It's Jalo Suudis. All we have are doctors and accountants. Come check on him, then. No. A few minutes later, at the gates uh, of the city. Excuse me, kind guardsman. Would it be okay if we buried our esteemed rub, the Rayokanad, outside the gates of the city? I'm Hetzler and I hate Jews. 
It runs in the family. Okay. Unfortunately, we can't let you bury your Jew boy in the city. Why can't you just bury your Jew boy in Jerusalem? Unfortunately, it's a uh, Roman law. Because this man is of such a holy caliber that he deserves to be buried outside of the gates. I've been told not to let anyone pass through these gates. And I've been told never to smoke marijuana, but that happens all the time. Zing. Are you sure you're not trying to trick me? Maybe let me see if there's actually a dead body in there. Wait! Wait! Don't look! I advise you not to do that. Why is that, Jew? Because people will know that you have disgraced all the Roman leaders if you stab a dead body. It will just look, like, look bad for, you, for all of your kind. That does kind of make sense. But just in case, let me roll the body a wait, little bit. Wait, 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 wait! What now? If you even touch a dead body, it's... All of the Jews of the city will consider you a man who has no respect for the dead. <coughs> yeah, it's not gonna look very good for you. Hey! I have respect for the dead. I watch Walking Dead just like everybody else. <laughs> yeah. It is a great show. I mean, no disrespect to this man's body. So will you let us pass now? Ah. Uh, okay, okay. You seem like good guys. You seem like honest men. Just go through. Of course, of course. Have a good one. You too, you too. Go Walking Dead! <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. A safe distance later. Whoa, that was close. Do you have any idea how hard it is to breathe in there? Not to mention the fact that I'm claustrophobic. Alright, Shkoyach. Hashtag baby. We get it. You couldn't breathe for a few seconds. But at least, we got you out. You don't need to make that big of a deal out of it, Drama Queen. Are you kidding me? I'm pretty positive. There's a scorpion in there. Those things are ridiculously painful. I'm very sorry for you that you got some scratches on yourself. And you can cry about it later. If you keep complaining about this, you'll end up staying in that casket for good, buddy. Listen, I hear what you're saying, but I think I gotta schlep it to the Roman general now. All right, see ya. Maggie, sit. You're fine. Yeah. Peace, bro. Yeah, whatever. Good luck, man. Wow. I really shouldn't have had that bison. I'm still thirsty from it. it. Really takes a lot out of you. I've learned that in cases like this, some people can really go crazy. Just hope that doesn't happen to me. Do you think that's happening to you, Cowboy Jim? I don't think it's happening to me at all, Ruby Okanon. I'm straight and narrow and all. That's good. I think I need to go to the Roman general before I lose my head. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I hear you, buddy. You sure you don't want some drinks? I'm going to the parlor a little later. That sounds awesome. But I think I'm just going to go on my way now. I'll see you, Cowboy Jim. You always be in my heart. Howdy, Ravi Okanon. See you later. The Roman camps. Is that, is that a bird? No, it's a plane. No, it's a Jew. Oh, what does that filthy animal want? Hey, you! Over there! What are you doing here? I'm here to see your supervisor, ASAP. Hmm. Alright, it's your lucky day. You're the first Jew I've seen around here. It must be a miracle that you made it all the way here. Follow us. Inside the Roman general's tent. Lord of Every other one would like to speak with you. Good luck, man. He's not fly with Jews. Your Majesty, I'd like to ask you for a favor in these peaceful times. Why do you call me king? I'm a general, not a king. 
I were a king and you were trying to suck up to me or something, you'd be doing a pretty terrible job, in which case, you've got to die. Hmm. I see. Whoa, wait, wait. Weren't you that guy from the city gates of Jerusalem? Uh, no, no, no. Hmm. So, who was he? Ah, uh, that was, that was my cousin Hitler. Yes, yes, I get it a lot. But why do you keep calling me king, and why do you come here? I've come to tell you about my people. They are divided among many divisions. I myself am lucky to be alive, as my escape is nothing short of miraculous. Yeah, God. I can't take this girl, man. Really written every single page. Anyways, uh, we just received news, General, that uh, Emperor Nero is dead. And uh, I'm pretty sure the Senate wants you to be Emperor. Alright? Alright, cool. What? <laughs> Rabbi, how'd you know that? Are you like a future seer or something? No, I just believe in God, and he has shown me the way to preserve the Torah. Well, <laughs> he is mighty. Praise Jesus. No, 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 no. That would be Hashem, not Yashua. Oh. Well, this is the time where I have to return to Rome to take up my post. Before I leave, I will leave you with my son, Titus, in charge of the siege. And I will grant you any request you like. Anything? Anything. Can he make Orin do some work on this project? <laughs> nah, nah, nah. It's literally, literally impossible. But I could do anything remotely possible, and that's just ridiculous. Can you save the Jewish people and their Torah for their for the rest of their generations by moving the Sanhedrin and its members from your Shalim to Yavna? <laughs> Where the war, where the war has not touched, will you allow Rabban Gamliel's family, the descendants of David, to endure? Will you cure Rabbi Zadok, who has not eaten or drank since the siege began and probably cannot digest food? <laughs> yes, yeah, sir. Yes, yeah, sir. Yavne became a major city of Torah learning and the center of Jewish life. Their are Jewish leaders enjoyed a three-year period of spiritual prep for the long and hard <laughs> exile that the Jews would endure after the destruction of the third Beit HaMikdash. Present day. So, uh, Zach Grossman, yeah. how'd you like the story? Honestly, it really was not that good. I mean, the story could have been getting everything but... Like, whoever just told over the story, whoever wrote that, it was just awful. Like, the writing was terrible, the acting was good, the generals, great, but, I don't know, the writing was just so bad, I just couldn't like it. Hmm. Alright, so, uh, good night, Zach. Good night, Grandpa Josh Friedman. <laughs> when the 